Hi, what's going on? My name is Anand and in the previous video, we have seen how we have connected the Google Workspace or G Suite account with Gromi Organic. And in this video, what we're going to do is connect the custom tracking domain with Gromi Organic because it is very important to track the opens and click instead of using Gromi Organic's domain to track these clicks and opens, we'll be using your custom domain to track everything. So in order to do that, you head over to your sender's SMTP where you have connected the sender account and then click on customize the domains for tracking. This is where you can add as many domains you want. So here I will be adding uh, my domain, which is examplehub.com. But there is one more thing which I need to add before examplehub.com, which is track. So I need to add a subdomain called as track dot examplehub.com you can name it whatever you want but that's the exact value you need to put inside your dns record as well and this is the dns record that i need to copy and paste so what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this a record this this is the ip and i'll be creating a, a record inside my namecheap account so i am on the example hub dns zone editor and i will create a new record calling it as a record the host is going to be track because we have put in track over there. If it was something else, then we can, you know, put the exact same thing over here. And then IP is going to be this one and press save changes. But one more thing we forgot to add is, which is the time to live, which is 600 seconds, or you can call it as five minutes. So I'm going to update this one more time and that's it. Now you need to wait for some time. It is not going to instantly propagate all the changes. So it might take up to 24 hours depending on the domain uh, server that you have chosen. But as of now, I'm just going to try this one time. It might not, you know, work. As you can see, the domain is yet not connected. So it might, it might take 24 hours to propagate the changes. So what you can do is you can close this and come back after a few hours after you know maybe 24 hours and you know connect that or meanwhile you can work on the other domains like you have purchased multiple domains right so now what you can do is you can start creating google workspace account for all the other domains you can start creating email accounts for all the uh, other domains start connecting it over here and once all of it is done you can come back after 24 hours and you know, do the rest of the thing which is left. So I'm just gonna pause this video for a while uh, and I'll come back and I'll try to do it one more time. All right, so it's been a while since I've been waiting for this and let's uh, give it a try one more time. So um, I'll just put track.examplehub.com which we've already put in and the DNS records which you've already seen we've added earlier. So now I'm just gonna click on check and save configuration. And as you can see, my custom tracking domain is successfully added now it is just installing the ssl so that is how you install the custom tracking domain and you ensure that for whatever domain you have connected in inside smtp over here you need to add the custom tracking domain over here so yeah that's it for today i'll see you in the next one Bye bye